Welcome back. Today, I want to help myself decide and maybe help somebody out there decide if switching from the Moza Air 2 over to the Ronan DJI Ronan S2 or DJI Arrow S2. <laughs> yeah. Is it a worthy switch? Is that worth it? Hopefully, while I make my decision, someone out there is getting some help making his or her decision all right so let's get into it if you've been following my channel for a long time you will know that i'm kind of loyal to the moza air too like well i'm not a crazy gimbal person so i'm not one to like switch gimbals every now and then um, but i did try to switch from the um moza air too to the um, Xeon Crane 3S, okay? And um, you could check out my videos about that. <laughs> Gimbal. Um, if it had not been, uh, maybe my unit, maybe firmware update, but I had two firmware updates before I gave it off. But for now, I'm racking my head around the DJI RS2. Here's my thoughts. I'm going to just break it down. I've had this gimbal, uh, the Moza Air 2, for over a year now. It was majorly marketed as uh, a Blackmagic pocket cinema camera, 4K, 6K, you know, like it was like the best gimbal. And actually it was, you know, you, you didn't have to um, use counterbalance you know, for the device, you know, you just, you could balance it with the, um, all you needed was the cage that could help you shift um, both sides um, as desired, okay? So, wasn't really a problem as soon as I was able to balance the um, camera on the gimbal, everything went, was fine. When it came, I thought it wasn't a problem balancing, but in real life situation, when you are on set, if you, Finish using it one time, you need to swap on lenses in your head. Without being told, you're already thinking, do I really need this? Do I really need this? You end up falling short of what you plan to do. The clock is ticking. You're, there's always time issues in every production. Somehow, it always is, you know, it's hardly, hardly ever relaxing where you just take your time. As long as there are people involved, Someone needs to go after a while, the equipment needs to be returned or, you know, the place needs to, the venue, your location needs to be shut up. So that pace, it's always, that's the, that's the situation I always find myself. And so I was like, I started noticing that I, I kept on taking it to a location and either not using it or using it just a little bit. You know, at the end of the day, it's like, was it worth it? You know, have, having gone through the balancing, changing lens and stuff like that. Now, this music video that I shot a while ago, I had plans to make three shots with it, but I ended up doing one, just this one. It was vital to the to the video, but I could not I could not do it any other way. You know, over time, I said, you know what, I need to change this out. And then the second reason is that um, the FS5, which I'm shooting on right now. It's my official film school camera. I am stuck with it. I can't escape, you know. Moza Air 2 cannot balance it. Cannot You can't balance the FS5 on this, which means that my school projects and stuff that, you know, short films, documentaries that we'll need to do over time, I won't need to, I won't be able to 
you know it's enough that it is i'm stuck with this camera right but how about putting some you know spice into it so i went for the current 3s it handled the fs5 perfectly and um but the gimbal was just not going to treat me right like it just had vibration issues here comes the ddi running um s2 i saw the um, official video i'm like what it's like you know it's unbelievable what they do now it doesn't weigh it doesn't take as much um weight as uh, as the um xeon 3s but it is almost there it takes better a lot more payload than this guy um i also knew that the previous the older version ronan dji ronan s um, a lot of people were able to mount their fs5 on it but it was still not so comfortable the spacing and all that you still had to be careful i could work on um, around that but it wasn't enough for me to just go ahead and buy the ronan s and now the um dji ros2 comes with all axis locked now that's a now that's a selling point now but right now it's looking promising like i'm going for the dji rs2 um <laughs> i saw this guy magically you know invoking the powers of the rs2 i said okay no i don't want no film tricks here i want reality okay nice video by the way and i saw mati hapuya he did his own epic run in the jungle you know showing up the skills of the rs2 and then of course i saw make art now okay he killed it, you know, and then, you know, I was really convinced. I was really convinced that especially with the application of uh, the even eyes or red eyes or whatever eyes they have there going on, that uh, module, which is uh, what I plan to get, the complete combo, uh, that makes, allows for autofocus on non autofocus lens like cine lenses especially cine lenses all right so i'm not crazy about autofocus but that's an addition now i was okay with the uh, three axis lock i was okay with the fact that it can mount both the cameras that i have and then now we're having autofocus for cinema lenses at this point i was pretty convinced but I needed to check one more, just one more guy that I know never fails when he delivers his review. Brandon Lee. Now, when I saw this one, he killed it. He, he gave out the, the good, the bag, and all. Yes, I think, uh, so if you ask me, you think it's worth the upgrade from this? Well, in, if you're in my shoes, having explained my situation, if you find yourself in a similar situation, I would say pull the plug. If you're okay with this on whatever, camera you use it for it's never giving you problems you don't have uh, you don't change lenses you don't usually have problems rebalancing so you don't face that then maybe it's not time for you you might want to wait up to maybe they get a new upgrade maybe you have to get that click like it's time okay so for me i i think it's time i'm gonna put the plug put this guy on sale and go for the dji arrow s2 and that's what we're gonna rock and hopefully that we can rock for a long time a long time you know i don't want to be jumping around and getting gimbal, the latest gimbals and stuff but i want to jump on that hopefully and stay on that for a long time and hopefully i don't get a big camera that makes me want to do otherwise but for now depending on the camera i, I decide because really i'm deciding about the camera next 
thank you guys for watching i hope you learned something i hope it helped you see you guys in the next video peace